nimefurahi kuwa hapa siku ya leo na niko hapa kwa mwaliko wa party leader wetu uh, captain Ali Roba kuja kushirikiana katika harambe muhimu siku ya leo eh, kwa vile muda umeyoyoma tasema tu jambo moja ndio tuanze kazi ile imetuleta hapa um, kila mmoja hapa anaongea juu ya e debate ya one man one vote one shilling uh, nataka kuwaeleza nilikuwa katika bunge wakati tulikuwa tunafanya marekebisho ya katiba 2010 wakati huo kuna wale viongozi ambao walikuwa wanaendeza endesha hii maneno ya one man one vote na sisi kutoka sehemu kame katika taifa letu la Kenya tukasimama kidete na tukasema one kilometer one vote and that is when uh, in its wisdom the parliament then introduced a clause in our constitution the clause on equalization fund so that the areas which are sparsely populated and which have been neglected over the years can catch up with the rest of the country uh, so that development will be equitably uh, taken care of in our nation. Uh, during the third uh, generation formula, I want to sincerely thank the Senate and the leaders who stood together as the governors from Northern Kenya, we stood together with the senators then and ensured that no injustice will be committed against sparsely populated areas. Equally, this time round, we will make sure we will do everything it takes to ensure that both sparsely populated areas in our country and densely populated areas in our country are equitably treated and taken care of because every part of this nation is important. In the first place, before you talk of any population, you have to have a country. And without having 60 or more of this nation, which is sparsely populated, Northern Kenya and other arid and semi-arid areas, we are not going to have anything called Kenya. So you must be considerate of every person in our nation and every part of our country. And as such, I want to caution our leaders. It is not every person from Mount Kenya who is against uh, equitable distribution of resources. It's only a few leaders who are mad about that notion. And we must stand up and say no to those few. But let us not fall into this uh, uh, accusation of fallacy of generalization about the whole Mount Kenya. No, it's not the whole Mount Kenya who's, not, who's uh, unreasonable. It's not. It's just a few leaders. And for your information, our president, who was then deputy president, when that generation formula was discussed, stood with us. And I'm sure he will require, because he's a statesman, and he requires every part of this nation, I am sure he will not allow injustice to happen to any part of this nation. So kwa hivo, sisi tutasimama kidete, kama viongozi wa watu wetu, wa arid and same arid areas, so that there will be no injustice committed against any part of this nation.